Next zone we have here is Tidal Tempest, and while it is very similar to Labyrinth Zone from the original Sonic game, I do think it is a lot better. Plus, God do I love this music. What's also nice about a zone like this is that there's the upper path, which doesn't involve as much water. Similar to how, um, what was the name of that one zone in Sonic 2? <laughs> I forgot about that bat, Nick. It's a little water bug. That's nice. Oh my god, I love it. You hear them? It's so good. Hold on, let's make sure we get some air while we're down here. Most of the time, Sonic water levels are so stressful, but I gotta say, this music really helps. Makes me forget about the pain and suffering a is gonna cause me in the future. Oh dear. Ah, come on, there we go. I do like that there's kind of less of a drowning theme because the fact that it uses CD music means it would have to load that song like it does with the speed shoes of the invincibility. And I don't want them to cut off this music because I really like this music. <laughs> Goals over here. And bingo, another special stage. I don't know why I keep saying bingo. Oh, that's a bingo! <laughs> that background is certainly interesting. It's some sort of island with mechanical towers, a, some sort of clock tower as well. With other floating islands off to the side. This place looks awesome. <laughs> Through the grass, Sonic. There we go, one left. Let's go around this corner. Oh no, oh no, oh, that, uh, well, it worked out. <laughs> Even if we had to bounce all over the world. We have the blue one. Alright, we're over halfway in the time stones. That's good. That's good. Three left. The sooner we get the time stones, the better. And the sooner I get to hear the title Tempest music, also the better. Oh god, I'm being pushed. Uh, uh. Ah. I, you know, I really don't want to go to the future, gonna be honest. I don't have any reason to. Shout out to the three women who did the <laughs> vocals for this game. I don't remember their names right now, but they'll be in the credits. <laughs> oh god. Some of these Batniks are a lot more unique than the standard Sonic games. They do stand out to me. Seems you can turn that fan on, which will send us up to this path here. Oh, and I love this bit, how we have to kind of climb up and down the poles. Oh, which way are we going? And... The past? Do we want to go to the past? The video will become very dull as soon as I do. Oh, never mind. Alright, on to the next special stage, I guess. Oh, this one's a beautiful background. The red and green and the black sky. Yeah, look at us getting it in midair with the fan. That was dope. Alright. Oh, come on. I'm going too fast right now. The time one's gonna show up in a bit. Where is it, though? Oh, it's right on me. Here, there we go, okay. Got ourselves some more time. Alright. The time one's back, we need it. Oh god, the time! Here, oh! <laughs> Barely just saved ourselves there. Watch out for those spikes. Or traps, whatever those are. Get the time one again. Just get ourselves as much time as we can. Two left. Yeah, yes, all right. Come on. Oh, god damn it, all right. 30 seconds left, that's plenty of time for one. Oh, get back here, you. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh, five seconds left. Oh, it doesn't matter that we ended out in the, the bad zone or the the water, what it normally is. Five time stones. Whew, just two left. This is some good progress. So far, we've only missed it on, I think, one stage, which is the second act of Collision Chaos. Man, the music here is so ominous. I miss the old joyous tunes of the previous timeline. Yeah, and everything's destroyed, not to mention all the Eggman murals in the wall. It's it's seriously haunting. More than any environment in a platformer has been up to this point. Oh, get back here, you! 
Hold on. Hey, oh, come on, he's getting away, Sonic. Let's go. Get the rings. Oh, God. Oh, that went past him. <laughs> get back down here, you. Let's get some invincibility here. Oh, he seemed to have destroyed his ship. Get back here. Oh god, the water. Let's get some more rings. Just to be safe. Oh god. He seems to be collecting air bubbles and using them as a shield. Well, it's a good thing we actually need those bubbles for air. All he does is spin his air bubbles around and shoot projectiles at us. Sometimes he changes where he shoots, but overall it's a... Pretty simple boss fight. We just get his air bubbles to get out of the way, and we need to get our opening. Ah! There we go. Just like that, we defeated Eggman here in Tidal Tempest. Don't worry, Tidal Tempest. We'll restore you to the good future, along with our own timeline. That intro guitar is pretty great. Quartz Quadrant here is one of my favorite zones in the game. Do not take me into the future already. I want to relish this. I want to enjoy my time here. Although, the fact that they introduce conveyor belts to help you gain your speed quicker and make better use of that time travel is kind of a neat gimmick. It's suiting for this game. I like that because of the conveyor belts and a lot of the open level design, they really do want you to time travel here, but you don't have to. A lot of the times you can just use it to gain speed and have fun like a classic Sonic level. You may notice I don't really use the time travel all that much, even though you can, because you can play it like a classic Sonic game, or like one where you're trying to seek something out, but you know, I'll get into that in the extra part, assuming I get to the extra part, <laughs> we'll see. Um, oh, I wasted my opportunity for the past there, that's a shame. Or is it, honestly? Do we need to go to the past? But assuming we do do an extra part, I'll get into a lot of the nitty gritty of going into the past and the future. Also, the conveyor belt really should be facing the other way, you can control that using some of the levers about here. Um, but I didn't do that all that well. Oh, we made it to the goal another time. We don't have enough rings for a special stage. Uh, we're falling behind on time stones. I didn't get any in Quartz Quadrant here. We're already onto the boss. Man, look at that background and how mechanical it's become. All because of Eggman. As a player, you really do want to stop Eggman. Everything sounds so much more depressing in the music, the environment's just so dank. And for me, there's a lot more at stake, but I'm talking strictly as a player from 1993. This here has to be one of the strangest, yet most creative bosses in the franchise yet. You see, we're running on this conveyor belt to slowly shred the piston he's standing in. And as time goes on, we'll destroy more and more of it. But we also have to keep avoiding these projectiles he's dropping onto us. So, you kind of get into that rhythm of jumping and avoiding while continuing to run and, and making more progress in the fight. We almost got him. Keep going, Sonic. Keep going. Uh... I had to hesitate. I had to. And he rushes away before the piston explodes. Man, we almost had him there. Yo, Sonic, what was that move? <laughs> Alright, we made it through this zone. We still need more time stones to finish this.